hi what is up youtube welcome to this video today i'm going to show you how to build a portable monitor using a laptop screen so if you have a broken laptop you can make use of the screen so let's get right into it so in order to reuse this display without the original motherboard you're going to need to look up a display controller and for that you're going to have to take the display apart which i've already done And as you can see, these are the information that you need in order to research a compatible display controller, which I've already done. So we're going to go ahead and unbox the display controller. So here is the package. This one is nice. It has a remote controller. This is a DC 12 volt input, an HDMI cable port. This is a VGA port if you want to use that. This one is going to go directly to the screen. So let's go ahead and connect it, give it power and see how it works. So this one still has the built-in connector which we're going to go ahead and remove. You want to be very careful when removing this connector because it's uh, very fragile. So after a little bit of fighting, the connector came out. Next step, we're going to go ahead and connect the new display controller. Then I'm going to flip this up. Then we're going to give the module some power. So to power the display controller, I'm using this power supply that I reviewed about two weeks ago. I will put a link up if you want to check it out. And I set it to 12 volts. And I'm going to connect it to this barrel jack connector. Alright, so we're going to connect the XT90 to the output of the power supply here we have the 12 volts so we're gonna go ahead and connect that to the display controller right here all right so we have a lot of flickering on the display I don't know if you can see it on camera I have a voltage drop on the power supply meaning that I do not have enough current alright so I need more current I have a little mark on the screen for some reason here are the buttons and I don't know which one does what the first one I believe is power and we're gonna go ahead and connect it to the laptop
going to go ahead and design an enclosure for the display controller so it can look neat. Alright, so everything is 3D printed. This is the base cover, the buttons, and the top cover are ready to be assembled. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and connect the control board. And then this wire is going to go through this gap.
control board is gonna go on the top cover just like this but before that we're gonna go ahead and put on the buttons This hole is for the IR sensor. This is gonna go right here on top of the buttons, and I will secure it with two screws. And then, as you can see, the buttons are laid out nicely they are very clicky Using these three M3 screws, I'm gonna go ahead and secure the whole thing. And then the last one in the back. So as you can see, everything is nice and tight we're gonna go ahead and flip this over because this is going on the back just like this i'm gonna use this double-sided tape to secure it to the back of the display Just like that, we have a functional portable display. It takes power right here, HDMI output right here, VGA right here. I will be mostly using HDMI. And here are the control buttons on the back. So we're gonna go ahead and test our new portable display. This goes right here. So we have power, and as you can see, the display is on. All right, and then we're gonna connect the HDMI cable. I have this extension for the HDMI connection. So I'm gonna leave this right here. Just like this and then the HDMI connector is gonna go right here and the other end goes to the computer
And this is how you build a portable monitor using a laptop display. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like, subscribe and stay tuned for more tech related videos. Thank you for watching. See you around.